Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. I'm having a beer, just so you know. <laughs> it's been a long stressful day. But during the week, I made a Z-Depth tutorial and I showed you how to do this via the classic render passes inside of Octane Blender. It's very easy to do. You can go to View Layer, Classic Render Pass, and put the Z-Depth and all you need to do is play with the maximum depth. Now it's very similar to doing this via the render AOVs. So the first thing that we need to do is basically tell the render engine, hey, don't use classic render passes, use the render AOV node graph. Now, if you set up a Octane default scene and you go to the Octane render AOV, there's a good chance you already have an AOV set up. If not, what you need is a render AOV group, and this goes into an AOV output, and you can see it here, AOV nodes. So if you set up a new one, for example, I'll just quickly show you. So let's just quickly add in a new one. And what you can do here is you can actually go to the quick node tree. And you can see that this is now named Octane AOVs. And if I go here to the node tree, I can quickly switch this around. So what do we need? Well, we need a Z depth pass. So if we click on the plus sign, let's get a little bit more room here. We can go to Octane and we can go to Info and we can go to the Z depth pass. And again, pretty much works the exact same way it does inside of classic render passes. One of the advantages is we can quickly look at them here. So if I do the Z-Depth pass, and again we have the white image and a lot of people struggle with this. And this is because of the depth. Now, I think this does work in meters. So for example, if I go to 200 meters, I get a nice Z-Depth pass. Now I know, for example, this sphere is 100 meters. So let's double check this. Let's go to 100. Now it's perfectly white. So you can play around with this. Uh, obviously, the more that you put the value up, the more Z-depth that you get. And that's pretty much it. You now have a render AOV in the passes. Uh, obviously, if when you render, you can see here we have the combined, the beauty, and the Z-depth. Let's quickly let this sample. And there you go. And that's pretty much how you use Z-depth pass via the render AOVs. Very easy, in all honesty. Anyway, you know what to do. Take care.